All right, folks, here we are in the uh, garage slash mm, sort of studio space. And I'm here because it is a freaking mess. And it's not always a mess. I keep my garage pretty organized, but when you're in the middle of a project, you know how it gets. And then it's like a mess, then you gotta clean it up. No, maybe, okay. Well, it's very important that we take some time to get this organized and get some space in this area because Something wicked this way comes. Oh, yes. Now, you may have noticed that I have a tandem garage. That means that if you want two cars in here, they have to go in single file, and that's a pain in the butt. I feel sorry for somebody that has more than one car. But uh, for now, I just have the Cadillac and that works out great because then I have all this space up here for, uh, you know, working on projects. And right now there's a lot of space being used up, but I want this space free. Now I would love a side-by-side -side garage, don't get me wrong, but to do that in the San Francisco Bay Area, I'm looking at at least another one to $200,000 in home value. And I'm gonna spend my money elsewhere for now because I like this house, the garages, just fine, we can make it happen. Now, I'm actually a bit of a Marie Kondo fan, and for you boys out there that think it's just in the house domestic stuff, believe me, those skills can apply to the garage, get it nice and organized and clean, and I already do a pretty good job with that, I think. I mean, just look at my tool drawers, for example. Pretty nice, I would say. Yeah, but there is all this here, and uh, you know, stuff down there, and then, oh, I got stuff on the wall over there. It's all cluttery and I want to organize it and that's why just yesterday I got this delivered. This is the Yukon 9 drawer uh, rolling uh, tool chest and from Harbor Freight which actually has some really great reviews and it beat the equivalent Husky brand version. Uh, so that's going to be out of the garage in a sense. It's going to go right here and we're going to put all of our tools in it and move this and it's going to be so much better. Uh, also here, we're gonna get rid of some stuff like this old sink because I just replaced this one. Um, and then the trash cans are gonna go outside eventually. And this giant entertainment center thing that's for like a 90s TV or whatnot, that was in here when I moved in. I hope the landlords don't mind. I'm putting it out on the street. It's got to go. And of course, oh, you see my wheels here? I just got those back from the powder coater. The last powder coating failed, so they're totally fresh. And I'm just gonna do this whole garage cleanup in this one video over the next few weeks. So how about we get started on getting these wheels cleaned up and ceramic coated so that I can get them on the car and get these other wheels up on the rack. All right, let's go. at this like 30 or 40 minutes so and I'm already sweating because it's gonna be a nice warm day all right uh, so the next step is uh, first of all I've gotten a lot of this area back here all cleaned up uh, but next we need to get this thing out of the way and put into place to start further organization so I hope yeah, I hope I can do this on my own we'll we'll see we'll see about that um, in the meantime I got my V water cup to uh, help me get through it all right well, that created its own little mess. Um, uh, all right, let's uh, see if we can get this thing off the pallet because I have to get casters on the bottom of this somehow. Uh, that's gonna be fun. My next question is, are there casters in there? Because I didn't hear them moving around unless they're taped in there really well. Found. These must be the casters. Now before I put these together, I think I should open this new DeWalt setup because I think it's gonna be very helpful in putting this together. Usually, 
I would be using this my Ryobi 4 volt and this thing is great for most of the time it's lightweight and easy but for heavier duty jobs I think I'm gonna make uh, that thing do the work and of course you don't want to play with the toys right you see, this is gonna be so much better than my old um, Craftsman 9.2 volt lithium, no, non-lithium. This is the old NICAD stuff and it's terrible. Uh, I can run a circular saw for about mm, one minute before it's done. So I'm excited to be stepping up the tool game. I use tools so much that this is definitely a worthwhile investment. Plus those crappy Craftsmen, they lasted me 15 years. So I know these are gonna last me even longer unless some new technology comes out. Oh, we have power. I like it. This is the XR unit. Uh, the non-XR units are the lower grade. It can get confusing. Just get XR if you want the best of the DeWalt brand. Uh, and the bigger the battery, the more value there. You can get kits that have smaller batteries too, uh, which would be nice for lightweight work, and I'll definitely get one. But for now, this is great. All right, I may be wrong. There may be some damage here. This is uh, dented in slightly, causing a little bit of flexing in the sheet metal. I don't really care, it's fine. I, sh as long as it doesn't affect uh, the operation of the drawer. Feels good to me. All right, so one of the things I need to do is I wanna put that rolly cart right here, uh, but uh, this needs to go away. And a lot of this is gonna, I'm gonna have some shelves up here, I think, so uh, the stereo is gonna go back up there. But for now, I'm gonna move some of the stuff just on top of the rolly cart to get it out of the way because this whole shelving unit needs to move. So fun fact, at Harbor Freight you can get these really nice magnetic socket holders. They're about $20 a piece though, but I think they're worth it, especially when you've got a bench like this where you can uh, magnet magnetically attach them to the drawer. Uh, but they only come with so many of these little locking uh, sets for your sockets, so you don't want to buy a whole another $20 rail just to get a few more socket holders. So you can buy their super cheap version, these crappy plastic ones, they're like 2 or $3 a piece I think. And this is a great way to get some extra socket holders. They're not quite the quality of the ones that come on the magnetic rail, but they still fit at least, and I don't think you're going to notice the difference. I mean, can you tell which one's which in here? Probably not. They hold the sockets about the same. Let's get that off like that. And here's a cheap one. It's about the same. So uh, I think it's a great way to save some money. Don't forget to drain your compressor, people.
I am tired now. I mean, I did this over a number of different days, over a number of weeks, but I think I'm pretty happy with it. I've definitely opened up the space here. Uh, got the full width of the garage where I can, besides where the uh, washer and dryer are and the workbenches. That washer and dryer is such a pain to have here, but that's just how it is. And yeah, I wish I had a better garage. I wish I had even white walls, uh, which just isn't gonna happen anytime soon. And this is just what I have to work with. And that's all we can do is work with what we got and strive to get somewhere better with something bigger and better, right? So that's the plan. In the meantime, I think I've got lots of room here. Check out these blue lines I put on the ground. Those are going to uh, help me determine if I have enough room in here for something important, like maybe a ping pong table, right? Like ping pong table plus plenty of room to swing your racket things, paddles, yeah. Or maybe a boat or a pool table. That would be good, make a little man cave. We'll see, we'll see folks. Uh, so hang in there, uh, more things coming to the channel. Let me know what you thought about having a vlog episode on the channel. I know I don't usually do that, but if you haven't caught on yet, this is important foreshadowing for new elements to come to the channel. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.